We got it, I think. You should try making up your own spell. Hey, what the heck? Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of King's Quest 3 Redux. We are back here at our home into a not safe time as Mananen wants, wants us to give him food, but we don't have any food to give him. So we're just going to go sleep and see if this is the end, see if this is a dead end that we came onto because I don't have any more food. This is like the third time I can't feed Mananen. So I wonder if he's just going to punish us forever or if he's just eventually going to kill us. Gwydion, you were assigned a chore. You know what happens to lazy boys. I am still hungry. When will you learn to obey? Oh, poop. You have disobeyed me for the last time. You have tried the wizard's patience one too many times. Okay, so we have to feed him or else we die. Let's see what happens with the oh poop. I don't have any inventory items. Well, this is pretty much the end of the game, is it? Unless I can go to my room and get the porridge in time, but then I don't even know if he wants that. If he doesn't, then we're just done for, and I'll have to restore to an earlier game and try to fit, find something to get me out of the situation. So let's get the item under the bed. Let's hope this will work. Porridge, please. There we go. Got the porridge. I really hope that this is not the end of the of the game. Oh, we can go down still. Please let us go. Oh no. Gwydion. Ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. You have disobeyed me for the last time. And we dead. You have tried the wizard's patience. One okay, so that times. game. Unless we can figure out how to cook, Manana. it's pretty much done for. I don't think we can cook anything. You are not in the mood for cooking. At how the many chores? There's no fun. There's there's no as it um. You are You'd like yeah, you I think we're pretty much done with this. Ah, <sighs> well, in that case, we have to restore to understanding animals. We just got the spell done. Let's try it a couple more times onto some things here to see if we can talk to something that is going to help us in any way. Because the game is about to be to a dead end here, and I really don't want it to be. Because that means I'll have to do a whole bunch of things all over again. And I really hope I won't have to do that. So let's take advantage that we can understand stuff. How long were you in the town, Coop? Oh my gosh, chickens, shut up! We already talked to the chickens. We already know what they are asking for. Hmm. My question is just, is this the end or not? I really hope it isn't. Also, what could we get? What could we use? We still need to figure out what we can use to get into the treehouse. Because if we can get into the treehouse, then we pretty much win the game. Because we can get rid of Mananen, I'm pretty sure, if we can get into the treehouse. We still have the dang mud that we don't know how to get yet. We can try to scoop some things. 
mud. That is still something I'm like, where could mud be found? Mud, you could just, you can take water, literally, and mix it with dirt. That's how you could get mud. Can I get a bowl full of water? Right here, there's a land to the east where the nets are solid gold. Okay, I'm... That's crazy. There's no such place. My third cousin twice removed has seen it for himself. He's just an old nutter. What would he know? He might keep old nuts that are past their expiration date, but that doesn't mean he's a nutter. I think any squirrel who thinks acorns are made of solid gold is a nutter. Ain't no such thing. Fine, have it your way. I believe him. Then you're a nutter also. <laughs> okay, they're done talking. <laughs> um, hmm. We'll have to restore to something quite a bit earlier. I think we still have to look for the mud. Because we got the dew, we got the Understanding Animals potion, and that absolutely did nothing. Not potion, I mean spell. So, let's try a different strategy to get mud. Let's try to go get the ball that we have full of ocean water. No, not ocean water. Probably source water. And then we can try to make some dirt get inside of that. I think that would be our best option. Can we go to the north? Can I go to the north? What? Oh, there we go. There we go. And let's now go to the little river here. Can we fill a bowl with this? You can't. You Can we fill a spoon with that. You can't. Okay. How can we get mud? The root of the mandrake plant has an earthy, bitter smell to it. I tell myself. The root of the mandrake plant may be a little poisonous. I didn't try to eat it. Didn't you read the warning label? Well, I didn't try to eat it. I was just trying to see if we could remove some dirt from it or something to get some mud. I'm getting really creative. By the way, can we walk off of this? No, we can't. I was just wondering about that. We really need to find a way to get mud. I never thought that mud would be this hard of a resource. We might have to look online at this point because I'm really stumped on the mud part. I looked everywhere on the map for it. Uh, you can't, you, you. No, no mud anywhere. In the desert maybe? I didn't look in the desert that much, but why would there be mud in the desert. I don't think you would find mud in the desert, would you? By the way, what happens if we go west? Uh, not west. Yeah, well, what? Yeah, west. Never mind. I'm so confused with my words. There is naught but sand for. I wonder if we kept the infinite water bottle, we could have gone to the desert with it. Maybe the game would just wouldn't have let us. But I'm pretty sure in the original King's Quest 3, uh, if I'm correct, you would die if you would go out in the desert. It wouldn't just bring you back. Maybe they thought it was a little bit evil for the remake to do that. You just cross the screen and you die immediately. Although that is a typical thing you would see in these kind of games. Okay, mud in the desert. No mud in the desert. Nope. Nowhere to be found. No mud. Of course, because what idiot would think oh wait, is that mud? This is the southwestern Wait, that looks like mud. You can't No. That is not mud. You can't That is not mud. You can't That is not mud. Mud! There is no mud. Oh poop. Hello. Oh my gosh, how did I escape? How did I... Oh, great. The bears. Why? That looks like mud right there. Hurry along. <sighs> but it's... If that's mud right there, that would be so a evil. You can't... No, you, of course you, not. You, 
Okay, there's a limit on how fast you can click in this. I didn't know. But I think I just found it. Can we go south here? No, we can't. I was just wondering because the fence looked like that. And if I missed that all this time, I would have been pretty mad. So, what do you think, guys? Do you think it's time? There is no need. Do you think it's time for us to look into the walkthrough for a hint? Because mud, there is nowhere I can find mud. I'd rather the grass stay where it. There's like no mud. You can. You can. Yeah, no mud anywhere, unless at the side of the cliffs, maybe because that would be. Actually, pretty smart if the cliffs were made out of mud. The bluffs curtail your beachcombing. Okay, at least that's something you can click on. You can't. Okay, but we can't get anything off of that. That means that it's not mud. Can we fill our our bowl with ocean water? You can't. No, we can't. Can we fill our spoon with ocean water? You can't. No, we can't. So. There's nothing to do here, it seems. Let's go back. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a break of this and we're gonna go look online because I'm pretty much out you can't, of you, ideas here for the mud. Where to find mud? Who would have thought it would be this difficult to find mud? Who would have thought? Right here is the only place I can think of. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. No. You can't. You can't. Nothing. So I think we'll have to go look for a hint. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. So I looked online and I'm pretty sure I'm getting crazy because the hint I saw was the river. We tried the river. How many times did we try using that dang spoon in the river? Is it because we were doing it in the wrong screen? I doubt so. I'm pretty sure I tried both screens with a spoon in the river. But as I said, there could be some mud in the water. But I think I tried that already. I can't imagine that would work like out of nowhere. I already tried that here. I tried that on the other screen too. Like, you can't you see. Can't, you can't, nothing. You can't. You can't. Use a spoon in the river to get some mud. My butt. There is no mud here. I don't understand. And here, like seriously, you can't. You can't, see? You, you you can't. Nothing. You, oh. You kneel and scoop some of the mud onto the wooden spoon. I love these games. I love these games. Wet mud lines the banks of the stream. Do you hear that face bomb? It's a pixel thing. A stream gurgles. It's a what? pixel thing. This is a Look, this here is a pleasant it's the area. That is mud. mud. A that stream. is a river. That tiny little bank there. Uh, was it possible to do that on the other screen too? You can't, you can't. No, only on that screen. Okay, so let's restore. Get that mud spoon very quickly. And that's pretty much unlocked everything. And we are a cheater. But seriously, that puzzle was so annoying. It wasn't making, it wasn't like calling out for your deduction. It wasn't calling out for your intelligence. It was just calling out for your stupidity to click on every single thing into every single room you would go into. Oh, I love and hate these games at the same time. These kind of games. They drive me crazy, but they're really fun. Let's get the mud ready. There we go. Oh, wait. That's not our character. Continue. We didn't do anything, Gwydion. Okay. So, the mud spoon. Go. You kneel and scoop some of the mud onto the wooden spoon. Okay, we have a spoonful of mud. Let's do our stupid invisibility potion. We can finally do it. Go up really quickly. 
we can pretty much finish the game uh, up to the point where we are free from banana, I mean. Not finish the whole game, but we can finish the part that we can pretty much change banana into a cat now. So I think it's finally time for Operation Meowanen. If we can do this in time, I really hope. It only took us like almost 20 episodes <laughs> to get that spoonful of mud. Up to the point where we'd almost get all the ingredients to make us be free of Mananen. Yeah, this game is great. Okay, let's go in. And we're gonna save our game as soon as we get there. Okay, let's save this to back home. A new back home because the other one is a dead end. And let's go down and make that stupid spell. I really hope Mananen is not gonna come back too soon. Please not. Please give us some time, game. Okay. There we go. This is okay, nope. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Becoming invisible. Cut a cactus with a knife. We'll do that. Cut a cactus with a knife. Knife. Cut a cactus. You cut the cactus in half with a knife. Good. Squeeze the cactus juice onto a spoon. Wait. Oh. What? Uh oh. The problem is our spoon is full of mud. Not wanting to taint the spell, you carefully clean the spoon first. You squeeze the cactus juice into the spoon. Okay. Please. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is not the spell that needs mud. What? It was a brewing a storm. We did this wrong, we did this wrong, we started making the wrong spell, and we're gonna die if we get out of that book, so... Let's brew up a storm. First. That's the one that we can do, we still don't have the jar of lard. That I still don't know how to get. Unless uh, the shopkeeper sells it. But I was sure that we needed the become invisible spell to get into the treehouse. Unless we can brew up a storm inside of those guys' hiding spot, that would be glorious. Okay. Bring up a storm. One cup of ocean water in a bowl. We didn't bring it. We did not bring it. So, this might take a little bit longer than I thought. We have to get a cup of ocean water also. Not just a spoon of mud. So, let's just go up to the ocean. Get the cup. Um... Okay, that was a really weird... Oh, it's because there were rocks in the way. I get it. I get it. Man, this game. So much work to do such low progress. Like, seriously. Okay. Cup of ocean water. You scoop up a cupful of ocean water. Got it. Now let's go up. And let's go get the spoonful of mud. At least before the end of this episode, I want to try the spell, uh, the bring up a storm spell onto the guys in the treehouse. That would be great if we could do that. And they would just run away because they would think there's I'm a wizard or something. No, actually, you know what I could do? I could be a fly. And get inside of that. The thing is... Whoop, wrong screen. I don't know... If... I can make that spell. If I can do that spell while I'm a fly. Hmm... I hope this is all... This, this is all going to lead to something. I really hope. You can 
There we go. The specific spot to get mud. You kneel and Got it. Now let's go back to our home. And let's hope that this spell will do something. Let's really hope. I hope very much. I actually think we're on a dead end with this game too. Because the other game we were at 48 minutes. And Manenon was at home. So this means like he's like 2 minutes away. From getting back home. I think we'll have to restore an earlier game than this. If we want to do this. But at least let's try the spell. Let's try the spell because why not. It might not even be the right spell to get the guys in the treehouse. Let's go down there. You quickly pull the No! No, don't close it! I want to You quick ah, I clicked the wrong icon on it. There we go. Go down. The wizard should be back very, very soon. We need to be careful. He's probably like two minutes away from getting back. Okay, get into that book. Now we need to do it very quickly. Uh, bring up a storm. Put one cup of ocean water into a bowl. You pour the cup of ocean water into the bowl. Good job. Light charcoal brazier. You light the charcoal brazier. Done. Slowly heat bowl. Do not boil, then remove. You place the bowl of ocean water on the charcoal brazier. You remove the bowl before it starts to boil. Okay. Put one spoonful of mud in the bowl. You add a spoonful of mud to the bowl. Good job. One pinch of toadstool powder into the bowl. Toadstool powder. Toadstool powder. Where is it? Is it this? Toad spit. No. The cream. Ah, that that is what it is. Into the bowl. Where's the bowl? There we go. You add the toadstool powder to the bowl. You save the empty jar for reuse. Oh, we have a jar. That's how we get a jar. Blow into the hot brew. You blow into the steaming bowl. Recite the following. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the Brewing a Storm incantation. From nature, I now call on thee, the power of the land and sea. When brew is stirred, all should be warned, the might of the approaching storm. Aha! Uh -huh. We got it, I think. You should try making up your own spell. Hey, what the heck? And we don't have the cup of what? What did I miss? I did all of the steps. What did I miss? Seriously. There's nothing. I did all the spell all the steps. It said to activate and deactivate. What do we miss? Pour it into a wave of magic. Mm -hmm. ah, stupid game. I hate it. I hate it. We're back here. We have to get the, oh, the cup of ocean water again. Ah, oh, this is great. This is great. Uh, and we come to the end of this episode, too, so thank you for watching, and I hope that next time we will be able to make the spell correctly this time. And let me just check something, just out of curiosity. Yeah, we're two minutes away from Manana's- well, here, I mean, we're five minutes away from Manana's Wrath. 
So I think we'll have to restore our game a little bit earlier than this and redo some of the steps that we already did to be able to uh, win this because I think we're almost into a dead end if we don't do that. Unless we can get the porridge to Manan and then that would probably save us another day. Anyways, that'll be it for this episode of King's Quest 3 Redux. As usual, we did nothing! Yay! I really hope that we can accomplish some progress. Well, at least we know where the mud is now. Okay, because we cheated. I hope that next episode will actually do some progress. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Maître des blocs, out.